improve your sound and protect your speakers with using a crossover in today's video i'll be showing you guys how to set your crossover filters for your speakers so that you can improve the sound quality and performance in your speakers such as a tweeter mid-range speaker and your subwoofers so make sure you guys drop a like on the video subscribe if you guys are new and let's jump right into the video <coughs> so i have my crossover here and basically what a crossover does is that it cleans up your sound quality and sound performance throughout your your mid-range speaker your tweeter and your subwoofers and it protects them so let's say for example i have a tweeter here and tweeters usually play the higher frequency and what this crossover will do you can set the frequency to where the tweeter should be playing so let's say if you do not have any crossover now and let's say you, you just have your tweeter playing normally without any bass blocker or anything to cut out the frequency the lower frequency in this tweeter what will happen if you play like any kind of bass in this tweeter you can easily destroy the tweeter so yeah with the crossover it's easy to tune your speakers and protect them for what frequency they should be playing now for a next example now with your mid-range speakers now let's say that your speaker is playing bass and you don't want bass to be playing in your mid-range speaker what you can do you can come over on your, your crossover and set the high pass filter to cut out the bass and after that you should see a result where you cut out the bass in your mid-range speaker <laughs> so having a crossover can be helpful can be very helpful and very useful to protect and improve the performance in throughout your cardio sound system but how to tune a crossover though how to set your low pass filter your high pass filter your subsonic i'm gonna show you all the basics and the easiest way for y'all to set your crossovers for your speakers so let's jump right into that so here we have the high pass and the low pass for each speaker the subwoofer the mid-range speaker the mid bass speaker and the tweeter and for the subwoofer with the high pass filter now the high pass filter will be considered as a subsonic right here and with this high pass filter now it prevents our subwoofer to play below the hertz where the subwoofer should not be playing and it prevents our subwoofer from bottoming out now a general rule to set your subsonic for your subwoofer is that you will have to set it half octave below the tuning so for example let's say that your subwoofer enclosure is tuned at 32 hertz and the full octave of this will be 16 now you will take the 16 and divide it by 2 which will give us 8 what we need to do now is for the subsonic filter for our subwoofer we will need to set it 8 hertz below 32 hertz so we come here 32 hertz minus the 8 and for the subsonic filter we will need to set it at 24 hertz so that's a basic general rule when it comes to setting your subsonic for your subwoofer now for the low pass filter now we generally set our low pass filter at 80 hertz to 100 hertz so with the low pass filter anything above 80 hertz the subwoofer will not be playing so the low pass filter is cutting out all the frequency above the frequency you set your low pass filter at now for your mid-range speaker now this is a scadio 8 inch 8 ohms mid-range speaker here and what you will need to do you will need to find the specs on your speaker and you will need to find the free ear resonant for your speaker and i don't know if y'all are seeing here the resonant on this speaker is 102 
and a good starting point to set your high pass filter for that specific speaker is that you will double the fs for the high pass filter so we don't want to play our speaker below the resonant frequency otherwise it will be easy to damage the speaker and we are trying to avoid that additionally if the closer you are to the fs on your speaker it's more easy to damage it so that's why we want to stay away from the fs so that's why our general rule is to double the fs on the mid-range slash mid bass speaker so so for the high pass filter on our mid-range speaker now we have a fs of 102 and what we will do is times the 102 by 2 and we'll be getting 204 so this is where we will need to set our high pass filter for our mid-range speaker generally that will be a big gap from the subwoofer and the mid-range speaker so from here what you guys can do you guys can also set your low pass filter on the subwoofer a bit higher to 204 so you guys can fill in that gap so you guys don't miss miss out that specific frequency so i will need to change this to 204 hertz and our mid-range speaker will be playing the 204 hertz so in that way i will be filling out the frequency gap now for the low pass filter for the mid-range speaker now i just go on the spec sheet and look for where the speaker start to lose its performance so on the spec sheet it's saying that the speaker is losing its performance around six thousand hertz so that's where i'm gonna set my low pass filter for my mid-range speaker slash mid bass now for the tweeter now what we are gonna do is is basically as the same tuning as the mid-range speaker so what we'll be doing is that we'll be finding the fs on the tweeter and we'll be multiplying it by two so here we go two times the fs and when it comes to your mid-range speaker it doesn't matter if you guys go a little bit below the fs on the mid-range speaker but, but now when it comes to the the tweeter now if you guys play any low frequency in this tweeter you guys can blow this tweeter in in seconds tweeters are not meant to play the lower frequency they are only meant to play the higher frequency so please know what you're doing because in my opinion tweeters are the easiest speakers to, to blow now for the tweeter low pass filter now you do not need to set anything for it um if not all the tweeters tweeters usually play up to 2000 2000 hertz and some play above and our hearing spectrum is from 20 hertz up to 2000 hertz so for the tweeter you do not need to set any low pass filter for it so here you have a general rule of thumb um, to set your crossover point for your speakers so that you can improve the performance in your speakers and you do not destroy or blow your speakers so if you guys find this video very helpful be sure to drop a like on the video subscribe if you guys are new and if you guys have any questions you guys want to ask you guys can always ask down in the comments below and i'll be catching you guys in my next video love y'all guys